I'm very happy to uh, hear from you because the purpose of the meeting really is to hear from you rather than to hear from us. Um, and let me say that first of all, we're delighted to see how many uh, of you have come to this meeting this afternoon. We're very grateful for that. Uh, and secondly, I'd say also that looking around the room or looking at the list of uh, uh, participants that I read just before coming here, uh, I must say it's a very good reflection of the state of intellectual property. So we have people from industry, from various parts of industry here. We have people from the creative industries here. We have people from the so-called NGO community here. We have the multilateral uh, policy uh, uh, think tanks here. Uh, we have uh, a very diverse participation. The libraries have just come, the International Federation of, of Libraries Association. Uh, so, um, and we have the uh, IFRO uh, up here. So it's a very diverse participation. I think it reflects one uh, interesting thing, which is that intellectual property now concerns absolutely everyone. Uh, and that is a very much a different situation from the one that we had traditionally. You know, I would say that uh, there, there's, there are two challenges that we have one is the challenge that, as an organization, it's quite possible that uh, our member states will be more sophisticated than we are. You know, increasingly we find that the developing countries' uh, needs and, um, and the developing countries' situation actually is very sophisticated. And uh, so one of our challenges is how to adapt our program so that it responds to that increased sophistication of need. And, and it's, it's, you know, I am convinced, and I'm sure that most of my colleagues are, that one of the key ways in which we can do that is to rely to a greater extent on outside expertise. I mean, it, it is a feature, uh, you know, a problem of all the international organizations. We discussed this. We've just had a meeting in Geneva of the so-called Chief Executives Board, which is an opportunity for all the executive heads to meet. And we all face the same problem. You know, the world outside is moving more quickly than we can cope with in, in our, you know, slow multilateral way. Um, and um, I think one of the answers to dealing with that is to be able to leverage the expertise that exists outside in organizations like yours.